Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays Binding of Isaac Andrew Plus. Are we at double digit wins? Can I can I put a smile on my face again? Not quite. No smiles yet. No smiles until we get through this win. Oh no, it's Tiny Planet. X G E K Q R N L. Q R N L. Quick run. Ha <laughs> ha! Just a quick run, NL. Ha <laughs> ha! What could go wrong? I don't know why. Ha <laughs> ha is the punchline. Um so Tiny Planet has ended some streaks within the past year. Um not surprising. Is uh it's pretty bad. Now, to start with it is is horrible. To have uh taken it willingly is actually kind of worse, because you're like, why would you? Um, but we've done it. We've done it in the past. Now, glowing hourglass, this this is one of those situations where you'd really consider that in all likelihood. You probably need to leverage, you know, just about everything you got in your toolbox just to be able to uh, stay alive here. Um, I do see the tinted rock on the right side of the screen. Unfortunately, no bombs as of present. So we, we need to, if possible, try to make glowing hourglass work. How am I going to do that? It's a great question, considering I always get its actual effect confused. <laughs> I'm always like, is this the one that allows you to, like, turn... It must be turn back time, right? What a tale my thoughts could tell. It's like a old time movie. Oh, if I'm wishing away. You know that one? I don't know where we went wrong. Originally Gordon Lightfoot, but one of those songs that... I... It... We did it. We turned back time. Okay. Um... Okay, so we did it well. Um, now, we can't do that forever. That's definitely the use case. Like, that's where we should be doing this. Um, we can't do it forever. Trying to kill him with his own bombs, because our tears are kind of, like, woefully inept, but... Um, that's one we'd like to have back. <laughs> just got a little too close. You know what? Let's just flood the map a little. Let's just flood the map. If he wants to spit out a bomb, then go ahead and spit out a bomb. I'm realizing you should stay away from me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so this is, a, this is a pretty big loss, for sure. And I don't feel great about it. But on the other hand, we did at least get a Tinted Rock. Could be a second secret room adjacent as well. Oh my god. I can't really blame anybody but myself. But there's kind of like a, an element in my head of like... You know, I really do feel like they changed the drop tables for Tinted Rocks at some point. Of course, there's also, you know, a situation you gotta acknowledge is kind of like rife with potential bias. Like, um, you know, you're, obviously you're gonna notice non-Spirit Heart payouts more um, when you're looking for a Spirit Heart specifically in order to stay alive. But um, I, I also, like... I don't know, man. I, I feel like they have changed it. But I at least, like, I, I'm being sincere when I say I actually kind of don't mind this run. And I say that not just to, like, defend myself, but really, like, I feel like this run is kind of at least, like, there's some power on it. And it's it's kind of fun. Obviously, there's a lot of danger associated with it as well. Um, but it is at least, like, kind of a... The the shots when they hit do something, which which means something to me. But it's certainly we'd be hoping for <laughs> a, a market improvement uh, in just particularly HP. A market improvement in HP as soon as possible. Um, dream shop for us would look a little bit like Reroll Machine, Spirit Heart, and a shopkeeper with coins in his eyes. Keeping the possibility of maybe getting two Spirit Hearts from it alive. Is similar. It's not quite the same, but it's similar. We got the coupon. We gotta use it. Now, do we prefer coupon or glowing hourglass? It's actually, like, kind of a tough call. In the immediacy of this present moment... <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, probably glowing hourglass, but, but like, long term, the coupon is, is much, much better. But the glowing hourglass admittedly could keep us alive, uh, you know, during this very fragile period. So that's probably what we'll roll with first. And just just get yourself some space. 
You know, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be super easy here. You're gonna be dealing with some, you know, pretty annoying enemies. But you, you just give yourself some space. Once we take out the boss, you know, we'll, we'll see how we feel about the item that we get, and maybe we'll we'll reconfigure our thought process. I think we should definitely go back. That, that's pretty nice, for sure. This is one I'm going to be very proud of myself if we make it out of this floor with, like, an appreciable advantage that we earned for ourselves. Um, you definitely want to get Coupon, and then you want to get Battery Charge. And we don't care what it gives us so much. Chaos, I would accept, because we kind of need a little element of Chaos to upend the Apple Cart here, if you know what I mean. And... Um, Steam sale would also be fine. And the battery charge would give us a second chance. Okay. You see, I'm, I'm not disappointed with this, really. And we got another battery charge out of it anyway. Didn't give us the one we wanted, but that's fine. I, I think now we probably take the coupon with us. Please, it's gotta hit. <laughs> Certainly, I would not say, like, oh, we did it, but I, I think we did a very good job, nonetheless. I think we're, we're gonna leave this floor feeling a little bit better about where we stand overall. We really need a tiers upgrade. More than anything else, a tiers upgrade would, would be the... You know, it would punch our ticket towards at least being a little bit more comfortable with Tiny Planet. Damage is great, you know, and, you know, if you could get piercing shots or... You know, I don't, I don't think you can. I guess you could, because we got Chaos. Actually, we could, if, now at this point, the item pools are unrestricted. What we really want to see is, like, Brimstone. Mom's Knife, we could treat as, like, a, a fancy high damage orbital. Um, but it doesn't shoot well. Brimstone is insanely good. So, we, we want Brimstone or Piercing Shots or Super High Damage or Lump of Coal or, you know, any anything along these lines. High, hyper Fast Rate of Fire. Things that uh, are, are going to make Tiny Planet not feel like it's things so bad. Yeah, that's really good, actually. Transcendence is also very uncommon. <laughs> it's like one of the least common items in the game, I feel. Uh, so we'll leave. And I'm, I'm, again, I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. Tiny Planet, you know... Well, let me rephrase. I'm feeling pretty good given the fact that we have Tiny Planet. I would feel better if we didn't have Tiny Planet, but, you know, there's not a whole lot we can do about that now. Short of, now that I think about it, something we rarely ask for this early. A full run reroll. But... Look, if Sinvicta can make 700 or 1,000 Eden runs work uh, in a row, then, then surely I can... I can swing the occasional tiny planet start, you know what I mean? For now, though. We're happy to have as many bombs as possible. Coupon is something that we're looking for more as, like... Sure, like, especially with Chaos, getting free items from the shop is worth a lot, but... Really, it's more like, you know, when we have low HP, free deals with the devil is gonna mean a lot. Chaos is really, if anything, I think we would expect it to give us less uh, HP upgrades, just because HP upgrades are overrepresented in the boss item pool. I don't know why I'm speaking so analytically. You're like, get to the memes, you know, Baldi. I don't have any memes for you, okay? I don't have, I'm memeless. Oh boy, you got me memeless. Looking at the subreddit, there's no punchline. Okay, there's no punchline, see? I got no memes. Time Magazine already handled that for us um, this week. What's the joke there? I don't know, I guess the joke there is like... What, what is Time Magazine Person of the Year? I, w I was a little surprised to see, like, Time Magazine... Um, announced that, like, it, it, its top four finalists for Person of the Year were Joe Biden, Donald Trump, uh, Dr. Fauci, and then the racial justice uh, movement. Now, don't get me wrong, huge newsmakers. But I'm like, it, I don't know, maybe I don't understand Time Magazine. I think it, Time Magazine is one of those things where, like, as a kid, you you think like oh this is like a really really well respected magazine that is like um it's news right like it's hard hitting investigative journalism or something and then when you get older you realize that maybe actually it's just uh commerce <laughs> if that makes sense 
Like, why? I was, I was starting to think, I was like, why do I care about Time Magazine again? And I was like, oh, because, you know, when you're a kid, you, your parents are like, oh, Time Magazine reports, you know, or it's on the news or something. I'm not saying Time Magazine has never done, like, incredible work, but I guess I, I'm just like... I'm kind of walking it back through my head. I'm like, why do I care about Time Magazine and, and who they make Person of the Year again? It's like, you know, like every year when there's Nobel Peace Prize nominations, like they'll always be like, whoa, you won't believe who got suggested as a Nobel Peace Prize winner or something like that. But like, I, I found out when I was like 15 that like anybody can be nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize. You just gotta like, you know, put their name forward and spend like a hundred bucks on the nomination or something like that. For the record, I am not suggesting the idea that the Nobel Prize is, you know, not prestigious. All I'm suggesting is that you you can, in theory, I think, nominate just about anybody to get one. They just would never be selected unless it was... Okay, that's my bad on that. Unless they had a genuine case. So, you know, if you're looking at headlines of like, you know, oh, this person was nominated? Yeah, dude, I could nominate myself for the Nobel Peace Prize. Maybe I will next year. Dude, what if I win, though? Like, I won't, but what if I did? You know what I mean? I'm not sweating it. That that damage was acceptable. Out of all the things you would expect Chaos to give us, uh, I was not expecting a range upgrade. So I, I just thought, you know what? What if we went to Meme City here? Okay, I, I actually think that's pretty good. Like, I think that that's not maybe as bad as you would think that it looks. Um, because we'll just keep shooting, and then when the shots land, they'll generate other shots. I think I'm going to try just, you know, five cents for like another spirit art, for example, will go a long way. But it is using our bombs, which is a little salt inducing. Um, that's okay, though. It had to be done. We, we don't think about the other items available there. Anyway, I'm not saying like those are not big newsmakers. I'm just saying, at what, like, I don't know. I guess it, it kind of rubs me the wrong way. This is the way I should have approached it in the first place. It kind of rubs me the wrong way that, like, a supposedly serious magazine is like, here's our top, here's our short list of nominees. Like, stop with the clickbait and just get on with the, the journalism, I guess. But I'm, I'm not really trying to put the system on trial. I'm just, I'm just making conversation in what's a, otherwise a relatively slow week outside of, like, you know, our, our three month old, who is not even three months old yet, um, is, uh, you know, starting to make longer syllables like the instead of saying just like goo she goes like goo and you know I, i've been trying to think about how to spin that out into a more digestible anecdote um for the for the general population for gen pop um and i, I have not come to a conclusion about how to make that happen yet so i, I think i'm still pro hemolacria but i'm embarrassing uh enough I'm, I'm embarrassed to admit I had forgot about the fact that it comes with a pretty considerable tears downgrade. Succubus is amazing. This is this is an item that like we're we're unbelievably happy to have. Predominantly, yes, because of the fact that it means uh, we don't actually have to be in an enemy's area of effect in order to do some damage to them. We need. You know what else it does? It actually means that when we stack up. Uh, our own damage stat, we're no longer gonna be like, yeah, but our tier rate is so bad. We're, we, it comes with a secondary benefit, I guess, is the best way to describe it. Um, and the coupon, again, if we continue to get deals with the devil, is gonna, is gonna, is gonna do work for us. So I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling okay. And honestly, like, this week has been, uh, work-wise, has been a little bit, uh, slower. I've been working as much as usual, um, but it's been like, you know, I haven't gotten ahead as much as I wanted to. But again, I, I just feel the need to point out, you know, that's also like if, if you're looking at the channel right now and you're like, ah, there's kind of a lack of variety. I actually agree. So here's like I've got like a Northern Lions hierarchy of needs. Um, the first hierarchy is, you know, the main series that are going on have at least a couple of days in the cooker, especially as we approach the weekend and I take Saturdays off. So that's, I've been working to try to get that back. A lot of series have been running at like a one or two day backlog. Um, and you kind of find yourself like on, you know, survival rations, you know, you got to do like a minimum three videos a day just to stay in the same spot is what I mean by that. Um, 
We don't want either of these. Hold on. We wouldn't mind the HP upgrade, so we're willing to take a stab at it. Let me out. <laughs> but anyway, we're starting to get a little bit ahead of that. And then the secondary priority. And it's not like we had low variety this week, now that I think about it. It's just that all the variety was essentially a two and a half hour long, you know, chess lesson. You might say it's only one video, and that's true. But if you put it into, like, YouTube terms, two and a half hours sucked out of the week. And it was for good reason. I had a great time, and, I, and we're making plans to do it again. Um, with, uh, with, with Levy again, a.k.a. Gotham Chess. But um, the, uh, you know, when you put it into YouTube terms, you do have to think about the fact that, like, two and a half hours is basically, like, five half-hour long videos. So it's, uh, you know, it's easy to see how, like, you might perceive it as like oh just one video like big whoop but it's actually it was like a very long one but um anyway trying to get back to to getting at least a couple of like one-off videos uh every week but it takes some time especially because you know we're coming off a week of some sponsor stuff and you know anytime there's a like a baby appointment or a veterinary appointment it throws a little monkey wrench into things but we're, we're, we're coming off of some of that which is good anyway that's what I'm getting at. Like, I have to... I feel the need to... Ooh, careful. I feel the need to... Defend myself is maybe not the right word. Um, we already... Oh, did I use two bombs? I bet I used two bombs there. Defend myself is not the right word. But, like, so Slasher's Keep ended. Let's talk about that. Because I think I misrepresented it as if, like, people were rude, so I ended Slasher's Keep. It's not... I mean, that's the way I felt sometimes <laughs> but it's not really the reality of the situation okay the reality of the situation is more like i was and this happens all the time but i was working a little too much you know i was like red lines um so something had to give and then when it you know when the decision for something to give was being made there was also a little bit of you know Flack being taken over Slasher's Keep. That was just terrible damage. And I'm not even... And a great time to use the Devil card is when we're, like, one hit away from finishing this. But, um... Was also... It had the unfortunate side effect, maybe, of coinciding with the period in Slasher's Keep where so many of the comments, um, at least from my perspective as the person they were directed to, were like, I love the series, but NL's a pretty big dummy. He's a pretty dumb guy. Entertaining, though, but he's kind of a dummy. He's, like, very dumb. Um, at the, and again, that's not the way they were written. Some of them, at least. But, oh, jeez, that could have been bad. I don't think we, I don't think we fish here. I think we, I think we fish here. That's kind of what we were looking for. If we, if we couldn't do better than that, I'll take it. But, uh, so then, you know, and, and, and it's a, you know, people... Almost, well, I don't know, I wouldn't say people, but some people acted as if I was, like, gleefully, like, taking away people's favorite entertainment. No, like, the series was doing really well analytically. It kind of sucks to pull it, but at the same time, when I looked at, like, Isaac, I was like, I love Isaac, and I'm, I'm you know, kind of cemented to playing it for the time being, for sure. Um, I love Spelunky 2, and we haven't quite hit everything there is to see in that game. I love chess. Chess is also doing very well analytically. So when it came time to, like, pull the plug on something that was... Um, That, uh, and it wasn't even really like a pull the plug. It was more like, you know, times are tight. Not, time is tight, I should say. Times are tight has a different meaning, but you get what I'm saying. Uh, it was like, okay, well then this one would probably be the, the best for my mental health. <laughs> not, not so much for the bottom line, but the best for the mental health. And what I do, and I'm not trying to push back against the audience, but I do love that, like, you know, there's a contingent of people who, whenever you play something that's semi popular, you're like, he's just doing it for the views. And then when you, like, postpone or, or put a series on hiatus that's doing really well, they're like, what the heck? The analytics were really good. But anyway, that's... Maybe I'm the guy in the well going like, oh, and yet you choose to engage with it. But hold on. Suffice it to say, um, so Slasher's Keep, it was more of a casualty of time rather than tone. Um, and, and, you know, the, the more... I, I really just needed kind of like a break from the game because I was starting to associate like some negative feelings uh, about the response with the actual game itself, but I wouldn't be surprised to see it show up on streams in the future. Probably not on YouTube, because I actually just think, like, I'm going to be doing a little bit more Twitch and a little bit less YouTube um, in 2021, at least is my game plan. Uh, 
but we'll see. I always say stuff like that, and then I'm like, oh, oops, I published five videos today. Um, but yeah, it was more just like, it, it was a timing situation more than like a toxicity situation. And I think I misrepresented that and, you know, help help me. Don't do it. Don't, don't do it. Not after I just said we're cemented to play Isaac for a while. <laughs> Wheel of Fortune. This is what I was looking for, honestly. Come on. Come on. Anyway, hold on. I wanted to finish my point. My point that I was trying to make was... Uh, is now lost to the ether. <laughs> I, I appreciate the spirit art. Don't... Um... What? Huh? Uh... I'm, I'm not, like, mad or whatever. Confused is... Like, I, I was genuinely... I guess I should have just walked downward. I... Oh, that was dumb. Okay. Anyway, I forgot my point, but that's that's the situation with Slasher's Keep, okay? Oh, you know, because I, I... You have to acknowledge, I remember where I was coming at this from. You know, when... There's a lot of negativity surrounding the... End, or perceived, uh, dare I say, slashing of a series. People are, you know, they, they draw, like, what I would consider to be, like... Overly, uh... Conclusions with undeserved amounts of finality from a single data point. Um, to, to put it in the most me way possible. Just chilling. <laughs> Not even nervous here. So people were like, oh, I hate the fact that he's canceled Slashers Keep. That's the only series I was actually watching, so I guess I'll just leave now. And I'm like, well, if you could just, like, let's just all take a second to relax. You know, it's that the time from Slashers Keep, I'm not just banking it and then, like, throwing it away. Like, the time that went in to record... Slasher's Keep, I want it, <laughs> is now going to go to, like, more videos. Like, this week it went to that, that chess lesson, and maybe the chess lesson's not for you. Maybe next week that leads to three one-off videos of, uh, you know, games on Steam. And, you know, I do need to recover some of the time, as mentioned, but it's, it's less about, like, you know, I'm, I'm not going to be just sucking that all up, and now I'm going to watch, you know, I'm going to get into, like, Australian rules football or whatever. Like, it's, you, you, we take off the off the gas for a little bit, and then when some more time, you know, finds itself available, like, maybe, for example, we, we finally, like, hit the crest in Spelunky 2, where we've accomplished what we want to accomplish, um, then you start to pull it back for other stuff, if that makes sense. Okay, we want to buy this... Um, we want we want to buy out as much as possible so we have the best chance of getting the pack tier, which is really gonna take us to victory. I hope. Well, it's nice actually, but we'll we'll move on for now. Anyway, suffice it to say, by the way, if you, it, it's worth talking about. I can't remember like because, it, and it, it's not like oh you wouldn't understand how hard it is to you know have a newborn, but my memory is like a little fuzzy <laughs> at times. Um, due to some stunted and, and diminished sleep, but I can't remember if I've talked about it, but it is indeed, like, my game plan is to do a little less YouTube in 2021 and a little bit more Twitch. What I would, and, and I want to just tell you, because, like, don't overreact. People are immediate. Like, I saw one person, and it, it pains me to do this because the, they're fans and they've been around for like a long time. And I read their post history and they've been posting about like, you know, being a fan for a long time. But still, like, there's a tendency to overreact from the perspective of the creator. I saw one person on the subreddit that was like, Rip, now that he's going like, you know, one third Twitch, uh, one third YouTube, two thirds Twitch, like, it's only a matter of time before he goes, uh, you know, full Twitch, and then I'm out. And I'm like, what do you mean it's only a matter of time before I go full? Like, you don't even know... You got one little piece of news, and you're extrapolating it out to, like, the the extreme. Why not extrapolate it to, oh, he's just gonna delete his YouTube channel, you know? Like, that's... If, you, if you're gonna take it to its logical extreme, like... And I know, because I've had this conversation before, people go like, well, can you blame us? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Because I have a history of, in my opinion, at least being relatively open and honest with the content, and more should not be using my orbital, dude. More than that, like, also just being, like, uh, very unambiguous in the way that I talk about, like, everything. 
Like I talk about everything in the most the the most literal terms I can muster it for the most part, right? And I try to make the, make it so there's no ambiguity in what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, I I do want to go back to like maybe January 2019 when I was playing bro. You you're putting me in a tough spot here, dude, cuz I I like really got to buy a spirit heart unfortunately, but um but when I was like playing Subnautica and I was like, you know, I think I got to like rework the way I do my YouTube channel. There's like a little bit too much Slay the Spire. It's like it's just Slay the Spire, Isaac and then like that's about it and I think it's kind of like dragging people down. People pushed back on that in a big way, and they, they really, in my opinion, got a little nasty and unfair. Oh, so you're just going to be playing, like, the next flavor of the month game at all times? Like, it, I feel like two years on from that decision, roughly, almost everybody would agree that, that it was a positive. Obviously, you know, there's going to be some people that disagree, and that's fine, too. Everybody gets different things out of the content. Um, but just let me work on it for a bit, okay? I think it's a decision... I think it's a decision that's going to benefit everybody. And and by the way, I can't believe that we're going to come out of this with a win. <laughs> we we have essentially now picked up the win and I'm I'm laughing cuz I don't deserve it at all. The run has been spotty, but on top of being spotty, I've played kind of bad. Um and we're going to take Book of Revelations and get the heck out of town, but um I just just let it work on it for a bit cuz let me explain. I think the perfect example is Slasher's Keep. If you like Slasher's Keep, I think you should be stoked out of your freaking gourd that I'm going to be doing more Twitch than YouTube. Because games where there's, like, incredible backseat potential, I think people have the wrong impression that I don't like backseating. I love backseating. Genuinely. I wouldn't beat half of the games that I beat on Twitch if it weren't for people in chat being like, hey, you got to go up, like, this staircase now, you know? Like, the, it, not even so much like the actual mechanics of beating the game, but but more so just like the actual, uh, the navigational aspects. So I actually, like, I, I consider backseating, like, pretty important for me. The problem is, on YouTube, is like that constant, uh, like, have you ever seen Office Space? You know, and then, like, one boss comes around and is like, hey, Peter, you didn't put a cover on your TPS reports. Have you ever, like, did you get the memo? And they're like, yeah, I got the memo. And then, you know, their other nine bosses come around and all correct the mistake and maybe crack a joke at Peter's expense simultaneously. Like, it's it's that kind of energy. So I think, like, a game like Slasher's Keep actually is, like, the perfect example of what my present kind of sentiment is. My present sentiment is, like, a lot of the games I play actually... Some of them work fine on YouTube. Like, for example, I think Spelunky 2 works great on YouTube. Isaac works great on YouTube. Chess, honestly, works great on YouTube. It actually, I think, works better on YouTube than it does on Twitch, at least right now, in my opinion, um, because of the fact that, uh, well, really, it's almost like the opposite. Like, I, I feel like backseating uh, in chess, live backseating is kind of OP. I feel like it would make my rating a little bit more dishonest if I was to just take moves from chat. And I don't want to stop reading chat while I'm playing, because then I might as well be recording on YouTube, and now maybe you're starting to see the the thesis that I'm trying to get to, but, um, I think that the, the content would be better for a lot of the games I play, like Slasher's Keep. Slay the Spire, I think, would have been a great example, you know, back in the day as well, of something that actually, if, if I, instead of doing, let's say, three and a half hours of YouTube videos a week where I have no access to feedback until after the fact, and some of those would be one day later, some of them would be, like, a week later, um, I think that that kind of content is better served by getting feedback live. And the, the, the downside from the YouTube audience perspective is that you'd, instead of getting a video that's, you know, quote unquote, made for you, you would be getting something that was streamed and there would, I would still be keeping like my stream of consciousness style dialogue going. Um, but I would then, you know, cut that up and a day later put it on YouTube. Um, and I know that you're like, the NLSS VODs don't normally make it a day later. Yeah, that would be, like, one of the things that I, I definitely would make, like, an action item for myself. Is like, if we're gonna do... And it's still in flux. If we're gonna do more YouTube... Sorry, let me rephrase. If we're gonna do more Twitch, less YouTube. Um, getting this stuff over from Twitch to YouTube that much faster. Whether that means that I, you know, do it myself or if I, if I need some help in that aspect. Anyway. So, I honestly... All I ask is... is uh, 
what I would ask, honestly, that you give anybody in this position, which is like a little bit of leeway to, you know, I've been doing this a long time, longer than you. Like, I've been doing this longer than you've been watching by definition. So that doesn't mean that I know what's best for your specific content consumption habits. But it does mean that I hope you'll give me some time to experiment with, with it. And what that probably means from like a an actionable <laughs> context is like you probably get like one less YouTube series right now, but you get like a lot more streaming. I know that sounds like it doesn't make sense, but I feel like that's how it's going to work out. And then the streaming would make its way over. Maybe, maybe you get a one and a half less series and then you get a lot more streaming and also the there will be more output on the youtube channel as a result of the increased streaming but anyway that's 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 where we're at right now so this all pivoted off of the slashers keep discussion but it, it really is like a i i mean i've been having you know conversations with youtube not not that i'm like a big shot but i i have like you know strategic you would laugh because like you know, I'm, I'm trying to give off this image of like, you know, hey guys, I'm like a you know grassroots content creator, but um, like I, I've been having these meetings with YouTube about like strategic content direction and stuff like that. And a lot of the advice has been really great. And a lot of the advice I think is great for YouTube channels at large, but honestly kind of exemplifies, and I hope you're not annoyed with the inside baseball talk here, but I, I think it kind of exemplifies what makes this channel and, and you know, my personality even, if I could be so bold, um, kind of unique on YouTube. You know, a lot of the advice that I get, like, it it, it kind of boils down, like, like from the top, basically. <laughs> the advice is, like, you should consider, like, jumping on more trends. Like, or you should consider, like, you know, I, I you're doing really well with, like, these 30, 40-minute videos, but you should consider, um, you know, splicing them up into, like, f you know, 10-minute and one-second-long meme compilations and stuff like that. And I think there is a, a case to be made for, like, doing more content like that, but not at the expense of the kind of content that I'm making. Um, but I think, you know, what it, what it really comes down to is kind of this, this belief that's been percolating within my head for a while. That, like, I love having a presence on YouTube and Twitch simultaneously. Like, I, I love doing both, and that's why I get insanely annoyed when people... When I suggest that we're going to do a little more Twitch, and people are like, that's it, he's leaving. And I'm like, I, if I was going to leave, I would have left when, like, the adpocalypse happened three years ago. <laughs> I would have been full-time on Twitch then. But, but to get back to my original point... Pardon me. To get back to my original point, I don't want to do that if that makes sense I, I don't want and first off i anytime i've tried to like you know commit to maybe more of a, like a mainstream kind of appeal it's not necessarily backfired but it's always paid like diminishing returns which to me indicates that people are watching for this style that i've cultivated which makes sense you know we don't have the largest audience on youtube but the people that watch oftentimes tend to like hook themselves up to the fire hose of content and and try to keep up as best as they can don't expect anybody to watch everything but, uh, and, and what that means to me is not that, you know, there's not a place for me on YouTube, but maybe this, like, you know, stream of consciousness, uh, unedited dialogue style is, is a little bit more well-suited to Twitch. I know the, the people complain about stuff like the Twitch player, for example, which is why we would push stuff to YouTube right away, but, or as fast as possible. But, um, I, I think just in terms of the platform, like, it just seems to it just seems to fit better, you know what I mean? Anyway. Again, if if you find yourself offering like robust thoughts, I appreciate it, but I also do feel the need to <laughs> to step in and be like, don't overreact. Like if you're like, what about Isaac? Is Isaac's not going anywhere. You know, that that would be like the last thing, probably. Now, it, like in the future, maybe would some Isaac be streamed and also pushed over? Maybe. I mean, to be honest, like, my stream schedule... And this is a very narcissistic conversation. Like, I feel so uncomfortable. I've just talked about me, me, me the whole time. But, you know, it is... Uh, you, they, they say you should speak about subjects you know. <laughs> um, but either way, what I'm, what I'm getting at is, like, you know... I, I have kind of, like, an inflexible schedule on Twitch, if that makes sense. You know, Monday, Wednesday are typically more traditional shows. You know, we, we do variety of stuff. 
or a, a variety of stuff, I should say, during that time slot. And then Thursdays have been like a little flex lately. Like like last Thursday, like the day that just passed, I actually co-streamed the Game Awards, which was a lot of fun. And I'd like to do more stuff like that. But, you know, Sundays are, uh, you know, we've got to get through that Demon Souls playthrough, which I'm having fun with. But because I don't stream as many hours as some other streamers, because I'm also doing so much YouTube stuff, you know, that you start playing a game, you know, when it comes out, and then it's like six weeks later that you actually finish it, right? So, um, I feel like the content overall is going to benefit... And I'm going to be honest here. We've already seen our deal with the devil, by the way. I feel like it's going to benefit substantially from having, like, a more dedicated stream block. Uh, like, like maybe, like, six hours, five days a week of, of streaming. Um, or or f five hours, six days a week, maybe. Um, just, I, I honestly, genuinely, in my heart of hearts, think it will make... Um, for a, uh, I think it'll make for better content being pushed to YouTube as well. That's that's my two cents. Anyway, we'll we'll see. Maybe we do it for six weeks and people are like, I hate it. <laughs> In which case, you know, I don't know. I just don't like. You gotta acknowledge that like it's 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 not hard to be a content creator. You know, like once you hit a certain point, you're living the dream for sure. But it is kind of, sometimes you do find yourself being like, why do people, like, assume the worst? Like, it, they assume that, like, the content creator is, like, trying to destroy their own career. And, like, the only person that could possibly give them advice that would mitigate that is somebody that has been watching them. Which, like, I get it, you, you know, it's kind of like the... Part of the spirit of the, the parasocial relationship is like, only I know what's best for you, sweetie. But I think you, you know, let, let me have some executive function on this one. Let, let me let me make some decisions. And if it doesn't work out, then then we'll figure it out together. You know, so it, you always got to stay, you know, evolving, not only, you know, as you change as a person. Like, you know, of course, like the my YouTube channel and... You know, the, the kind of content I made has changed over the years. I've been doing this since I was, like, freaking the grasshopper, you know? I was... <laughs> I've been, like, a full-time YouTuber. Well, let me, let's put it this way. I've been an adult for 14 years. Legally speaking. Um, and I've been a full-time content creator. For nine of those. So, like, I don't know what it means to, like, be an adult without having also, like, all of your thoughts constantly broadcast to the internet. <laughs> but that's suffice it to say, yeah, things will change over time. And also, like, the industry has changed over time as well. I think I, if I made a mistake over the course of this video that's not related to gameplay, because we made a lot of gameplay mistakes. Um... But if we made a mistake in this video, it's definitely um, more with respect to almost like the tone. I almost took this as like an antagonistic tone, and I think, you know, you, you might wonder why, but you do also have to put yourself in my shoes and acknowledge that, you know, when, when you, when you, not you, but when people make comments about me, they feel like they're making contents about the channel to some extent, but I'm looking at it like you're making contents about me as a person, or comments, I should say, about me as a person. So, you know, we're in this constant, like, uh, dance, I should say, of, you know, may maybe I, like, misinterpret a little bit, but also I'm like, I think if you gotta come in like this, you would be like, I'm offended, but, you know, I, I think I let more slide than, than most people, honestly, I, and, and I think I've really let people get away with being, like, kind of rude in general, uh, for, for years, which I should not have done, and in hindsight, regret, but, um, Suffice it to say, it, I shouldn't be approaching this from such a, like a, a presumed antagonism. Rather, I, I hope that you'll acknowledge that my, my attempt here is for just to make the content better for everybody. Yes, uh, for me as well, but, but also for everybody. Anyway. So that's, you know, where I'm at. I'm still, I'm still puzzling out the actual operational changes that we'll do in 2021. You may not even really notice, you know? You may just be like, hey... Things have been good lately, and that's that's kind of my hope. If anything, for years people have been telling me publish less on YouTube. 
And I've been like, nah, I like working. But I think that they might have been right in a sense. <laughs> Publish less on YouTube, but maybe stream a little bit more. Anyway, we'll see how she goes. For now, I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying, you know, we, we've had a lot of changes to our life, obviously, in 2020. Um, I'm, I'm enjoying a little bit of a routine before we slip into maybe a, a new energy in 2021. So, this run could still go wrong. I am, I wouldn't say offended. As we switch, as we pivot back to a little Isaac discussion. But I am, I'm just a little surprised by the fact that our, our damage stat is still, well, and our rate of fire for that matter, <laughs> are still so garbage. And I think we actually do want this, believe it or not. Um, I guess we could have taken Odd Mushroom first and then taken that. Yeah, that, that would have been slightly better. Odd Mushroom's not an amazing damage upgrade, but it's, it's definitely something. We, it's tough because, like, we want to do these rooms to get Satanic Bible Charges. But we also don't want to do these rooms because it's like our run is insanely trash. It, it really is trash. <laughs> I want to I wanna use no uncertain verbiage there. This is a, a very not good run. We have a 39 rate of fire with 4.85 damage. It's our fault for taking Hemolacria. Suffice it to say, in hindsight, Hemolacria does not compensate for the negatives that we have with respect to our damage. Or our, our rate of fire, I should say. No tinted rocks, huh? That is it, actually pretty valuable right now. I'm, I wish that that was not something I could be so excited about right now, but I, I really am. Um, and now we might just try to like speed through this room a little bit. But yeah, anyway. The long, the long story short of that is, I'm not saying I'm always going to make the right decisions, but I do think back and, like, people are resistant to change. Like, I would say that anytime I've made any kind of open changes, you know, camera, uh, new layout, or, or um, new, new logo and branding, I should say, uh, even, like, you know, when I, again, this is like the most obvious example, but I was like, maybe I should make other content than just Slay the Spire and Isaac. People were like, I'm leaving. But, you know, I, most of the time, it's worked out. And I will acknowledge, most of the time, it hasn't worked out right away. My, what, my initial vision gets, you know, into the live environment. And then people have feedback, and I go, how dare they? And then I simmer on it for like a couple days, and then I go, you know what? We can we can implement parts of that. I think there's some truth to a lot of this. So, you know, it, I, I just, I, I guess the reason I presumed antagonism is because when I read the feedback, there is some presumed antagonism to begin with. But we can work together to make this a more collaborative environment. I mean, again, everything's fine. Just kind of a weird tone for the video. And honestly, like, part of that tone is influenced by the fact that I've had no damage for the whole run. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yo, okay. Here we go. This is big. Cat of Nine Tails is just good. And then Bookworm is not so good, but it's fine. But really, Sad Bombs and Homing Bombs are... Those are the big brain plays here. We're going to use those, like, instead of shooting our own tears for real like they're they're that much better than our actual shooting as you might be able to see for yourself right here um so we we should and and like it's a it's a weird one it's a very strange one um we should be totally fine um and by totally fine i mean i think it might be a little bit of a nail biter <laughs> but we'll see Anyway, that being said, you know, I I haven't been in the comments as much as I, I was pre-baby. And, and honestly, the reason for that is just, you know, baby. You, you're setting your videos at 8. Uh, when you are when you are going to bed at 10, 20, you, you're like, and you got a thousand other things to do. It's a bad habit, but it can kind of 
fall by the wayside a little bit. But I'll definitely try to read the comments for this one to see what people are thinking. Because this isn't like a major announcement. It's still very informal. I'm just letting you know where where my head's at. at. But honestly, most people are probably like asleep by this point in the video anyway. Um, which is good because it means for me that they're gonna be they're the exact consumer I'm trying to appeal to. That's my targeted demographic right now. <laughs> Cause they're just gonna tell me what I wanna hear. Ah, sorry, I wasn't listening. Yes. Anyway, I kid and I don't kid, but I kid. And I don't kid, but I kid a little. Alright. Everything's good on this run. It, it, we're gonna get to 10 wins in a row. It was a bit of a circuitous path, you know? This is not the way uh, where I given a choice in advance that I would have preferred to have had this run go, but it, it got there, uh, even if it did take unusual uh, measures to get there. Anyway, all this is a very roundabout way of saying there won't be a Cyberpunk playthrough. <laughs> I'm not, if you're enjoying Cyberpunk, I'm stoked for you. I know that there's organizational issues with CD Projekt Red and then the, the whole, uh, you know, photo sensitivity thing. Yes, yes. If, if, if you are enjoying the game, I'm stoked for you. I hope it's, it lives up to your expectations. But really, it's just like, they could not have come out with a better game at a worse time in my life. Let me put it that way. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed what was a little bit of a weird episode. But hey, we got the double digits. Thanks for being here. Appreciate your support. And I'll see you next time. See ya!